This is one of those great questions of the desert that I have. Because these bottles are here. There's the gravel road, which is basically the main ro the road. And actually, that's an intersection right there. And you go that way, that way, that way. It's a four-way stop. Sky, I am going to whoop you on you. You're supposed to be the third most intelligent being on this planet, i.e. a dog, and you just walk through broken glass. So check it out. As far as dust goes, it's not been here for very long. I am in the high desert with lots of wind, and there's a rare break in the wind because it's like 7.30 in the morning. So there is no wind at 7.30. <clears throat> One broken, two broken, three broken, possibly four. Stop. Be intelligent. Thank you. But my question is, they clearly were purchased. They were drinking from. They were washed out. The label has been removed and even washed off. And then somebody decided... That they no longer wanted them, so they were going to put them in the desert. Now, yes, some are broken, so you can make the argument that the box or the milk crate that they were in was kind of more or less dropped forcefully. But they're all still together. And they're that far away. I mean, we're talking 20 feet, maybe 30 feet away. Plus there's a little dip, and then there's a secondary dip. It goes to the road. Like, who does this? Who says, I no longer want these beer bottles? Oh, here's a place out in the middle of nowhere. Here, let me take you to the road. Out in the middle of nowhere. Pull over right here, and I am going to walk them from inside my vehicle to the side of the road where I will then, what, place them? That is super soft sand. And you will, like, if you have, like, a minivan or anything two-wheel drive, you are screwed. And that's the way to the asphalt. And then when you get to the asphalt, you turn left. <clears throat> Let me take you up here. And you can tell about some of these circles that some people are out here because it's gravel. So they're like, I'm drifting. And ironically, you can't see where I live, but I live diagonally from here. So if you were to come up here and take this gravel road, and it goes on down as far as the eye can see, makes a left, and then makes another right, and you wind up at a town called Willow Springs, which isn't really a town, it's basically a glorified RV park with a post office. Then, from what I've been told, <clears throat> then if you were to go up, go up this road and turn left, it's funny that there's a stop sign, but in turn left, it goes on a little bit and then it starts to go diagonally right until it goes, and it will go kind of, it runs parallel to the windmills. And then there's like, way back there, there's a few ranches, people with too much money and not enough idea on how to spend their money. Well, as man once said, those with the least amount of money have the greatest ideas. Those with the most amount of money have no idea what to do with their money. <clears throat> There's my sky. She's she's being a five-year-old. I mean, well, she's six, so she's being a six-year-old. There's really no way around it. You could try to corral her, but it's not going to work. Here's some paw prints. Relatively big dogs are out here running wild. But I told her that she is the biggest dog I will be getting and everything will be smaller than her. So if anybody decides to dump any strays out here and they're small dogs, I'll take them in, I'll feed them, and they'll become part of my small dog army. Well, part of her small dog army. They're big dogs, I'll just chase them away with a BB gun. Not shooting, just rattling. Anyway, I'm tired of recording, so I'm out of here. Love peace and chicken grease. Hey, five minutes, cool.